Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandria. Today we wrap up our discussion of anxiety, what it is, how it looks, what you can do about it. So we have an example of one of the pictures or the prints that we saw the last two days. This is a complete analysis of it. I have a copy of it for you, the analysis, so you can follow along. So we will get started right now. Okay. I think we all can see that. All right. This is an example of a real person. We're looking at the left hand of the person. Okay, so follow along. This is a little brief information on the person. This man, fun-loving with a good sense of humor, retired at the age of 62 after receiving a financial windfall. Happy in his retirement until he was threatened with prosecution for tax evasion by the IRS who later dropped most of the charges. Even though he settled with the fine, a small fine, he was unable to handle the stress and suffered a fatal heart attack days later. So this is the ultimate of what could happen because of stress. Okay, well, let's see what happens. All right, let's follow along. As can be seen in the print, this hand contained many accessory lines indicative of a sensitive individual. Now, when we say <clears throat> accessory lines, we're really talking about lines that are not the major lines, the minor lines, and the lines you usually see on a bomb. Extra lines. A lot of extra lines here, all of these. And this indicates this is a sensitive person. Okay. In addition to being tied to the lifeline, which indicates a tendency to hold in their feeling or hold in his feelings, the two-prong headline droops toward a well-developed mount of Luna, showing a strong imagination. All right, let's review that a little bit. All right, here is the headline tied to the lifeline. Now, let's find the lifeline. Lifeline drips here, but you've got one coming in here that actually becomes the lifeline. Sorry, I pointed at this one. This is the headline. That's not the lifeline. Here is the lifeline. Headline. And the headline is pointing toward the Luna. Here's, here, here's the headline here. And this is Luna. And this is a fork at the end, meaning he had two interests. And it comes around. 60, 61, 62, close to that time. He was interested in something else, really enjoying his life. Because we could see he traveled. He had traveling there. No problem there. Okay. So when we get into the lunar era, we're talking about imagination, creativity, and of course, intuition. So that's what his mind was on, imagining I could do this and creating new things. All right, let's go on back to the sheet. The headline shows mental stress from the start to age 34. Now let's follow the headline. This is stress in here. It could be stress, because this is not uncommon, but this seems a little heavy duty. And this all means that it's stressed because probably a new environment. Here's a baby coming into the world. He has to get to know all these people. That must be stress. 
And being a sensitive person, he's holding on to all of that stress, not even realizing it. He has a support system here. All of these are support lines. And this particular one is coming from Mars, the Mount of Mars. So that's giving support to him. So right in here is weak. This is the headline, and we have to assume it is the lifeline because they're joined together as one. All right? And then, so you've got support, support, support. And here is the lifeline continuing, and something happens here. We'll get to that a little later. Okay. Now, looking at the headline. Headline shows mental stress, yes. But then it branches off. He's around 34 years old now. And it's dipping down into the lunar area. Real dip here. And becoming a fork. That is, he has two distinct interests. And this one, this is the fork. This is the lunar area. Now, the fairly closed space between the heart and the head lines indicates that he preferred not to tell others of his problems. Now, they're talking about the head line, and here is the heart line. Now, it's not a bad space here. It's fact, it's spacious, but you've got lines in between coming from the heart line. That brings the heart line closer to the headline. So in the heart line, remembering things and somehow not quite letting them go, these branches coming off. All right, let's move on. And we've already talked about the mercury line, which comes from the lifeline and heads up toward the Mount of Mars, sorry, the Mount of Mercury, which is below the Mercury finger. All right, so he's already a little, he has some health issues. All right, we can look at the heart line and we can see that's not doing too well, okay? And he has these lines. It's I circled them. These little vertical lines. That's a Samaritan line. And it indicates a person who has a caring, nurturing way he works with people. Okay, let's go on to the next one. On each finger, I notice loops, the common loop. I couldn't tell what's here. That's why there's a question mark. So common loops on the fingers, and this indicates one who is easy to get along with and can adapt easily to new and varied social situations. Okay? Now we can look at this. There's a break here. Okay? And as we continue, it says, this man's age, sorry about that, at the time of his death can be seen by the break in the lifeline. Here's a break, a break in the support line too. It's like it's all over. And then this, we can see with the heart, we can understand. He just couldn't take it. It was just too much corresponding to about age 63 years of age. Okay. Sometimes it ends like that, but that's not the common way it ends. If you notice, if he was aware of all of this, he probably could have, well, I'm not a predictor of the future, but, um, things may have turned out a little different. He would not be able to change this, health issues. 
but maybe he could have counted down a little bit on the stress. Well, that's the way it is. I hope that you understood this. Give a thumbs up if you liked it, and by all means, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Really, thanks for watching. And love yourself. Love and light. Bye.